hurt, didn't it? Did that hurt your soul, your ears, and every organ inside your body? Because it did. It hurt mine. It wasn't very pleasant. However, just being able to play that took months and months of learning. And it's not easy. It's never been easy. But practicing it all the time will one day make me good at it. Why do I practice Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and or ABCD? Or my, my ABCs? Why do I practice it? Because it's my favorite song. Just kidding. Because it's easy to play and it's a good song to practice. And I can hear if the notes are out of tune. Same thing for all the boring songs you're probably learning in band that you really don't enjoy. You're not learning them because they sound good, but you're learning them so that you can make them sound good eventually. And never play them again, hopefully. <laughs> Unless you like them. Anywho, I'm still on your mouthpiece from you because I wanted to show you a little exercise to make it sound better when you play the trumpet again. <laughs> this is going to be hard for me because I've got a belt right where my tummy is and I look a little bit like a grandma and that's fine. I think I look sexy, but you know, not everyone agrees and I don't care. <clears throat> but the reason this is going to be difficult wearing these pants and why I should probably want to unbutton it is because I want you to be breathing from your diaphragm. And I need to breathe from my diaphragm in order to make a good sound. All right, your diaphragm is basically the bottom of your lungs where you hold the most air. You see, whenever I take a breath, it comes from my chest. And that's the top of your lungs where you take short breaths. These pants suck. But you want to be breathing. from your tummy and not move your chest. It's not easy to do, but if you do cardio and practice running, but, um, breathing it and thinking about it, then you might get more used to it. <sighs> yes. Okay, so I want you to take a deep breath from your diaphragm and concentrate it up your mouth. Basically, for as long as you possibly can. Now, a good way to have your mouth whenever you're practicing your short mouthing is tighten your lips right here on the side, but make them very loose in the middle. <laughs> Try to practice making a very, very long, consistent, not breaking every couple seconds and changing pitch breath with that. A good way to hear it is using just your mouthpiece, not your instrument, because you're going to make yourself miserable and everybody in the house really not, not like you. <clears throat> so I stole your mouthpiece from you and... How I want you to hold it is not close to here where you're hitting yourself in the face and giving yourself Kylie dinner lips, but hold it here and just gently press it against your lips. Give yourself a little kiss so that it feels nice and friendly and you get used to it because this is supposed to, you know, be your friend. <clears throat> and what you want to do is I wonder if I can see my eyeball. <laughs> yes. I can kind of... Damn it. Yes, there's my eyeball. But what you want to do is... Um, <clears throat> put this hole here exactly where... <laughs> all the focus of air is coming out in between your lips. Which is should be right in the middle. Unless, you know, it comes out a little bit this way and a little bit this way. Which is fine if you got lips like that. My lips are perfect, so it comes out in the middle. 
and you just want to practice taking a deep breath from your diaphragm and slowly letting the air out. Until you get the end of your breath. But mine was supposed to be a lot longer and with less breaks and stuff, but I'm not practicing it. Just like I'm not practicing my violin religiously. <laughs> Unlike you, you're going to practice two hours a day, every single day, and blow into this all the time. But the kind of noise that you want to hear while you're blowing through this is going to be the same pitch, and it should be, you know, different from other band. It can be higher or lower, and that's okay. As long as it's sounding the same the entire time you're blowing into it. <sighs> I need to stop breathing from the top of my chest. <laughs> I think I found the tone where I'm usually am. It's that one sound. And uh, yeah, find out where yours is and make that noise the entire time. And you'll be all dandy, all dandy, dandy, dandy. And that'll help you practice your long tones, which I know what they are now. It's exactly what you think they are. Um, I undid my bow, so I can't really show you on the violin. But it's basically holding a note and making it sound as consistent and the same as possible for as long as you can. So I'll try to show you on my violin because I didn't take your trumpet. But let me show you on the violin what it sounds like if I don't focus on making a long, consistent sound, okay? And that's with me putting, you know, too little pressure, or too much pressure here, and too little pressure here, and not making a consistent sound it was very choppy but because i know my bow like you should know your breath i know how to control that and i know what well, well, I, I don't but i can learn how to control that like i can learn how to control my stupid bow, bow hold and my friggin posture better <laughs> I mean it wasn't great but that's what that's what gets you good at things right being bad at it first and getting it better at it eventually my friend same thing with all the songs you start with the crummy songs so that you can get good at the good songs and you can have a lot of fun and I hope that what this experience is for you a lot of fun <laughs>